Hello everyone, this is Grant Friedman, editor of PSD Tuts. And today I want to demonstrate how you can import an entire illustration from Illustrator into Photoshop without losing all of your vector editing capabilities. And before I get started, I just want to demonstrate the problem. And for this is a problem that's bugged me about working with Illustrator and Photoshop for a long time. And what happens is, is if I wanted to uh, bring this entire illustration that you see into Photoshop, right now there's only a few possibilities. I can select the entire illustration here, and I can copy it, and I can go into Photoshop here, and I can paste it. And I can bring that in as a smart object. And of course, you know, that works. Um, but the problem is, is that I lose the ability to edit these objects individually. And so what I want is to be able to bring this entire illustration into Photoshop so I can edit each object individually. So I'm just going to delete this object out of here. And I'm going to show you the other, the other solution here is that where you can just grab each object here and you can paste it in here as a smart object. Um, and the problem with this is that you have to do it one by one, which is a pain. And also, you have to reorganize your, your illustration. And as you can see, it's pasting everything into the center here, So, which means I have to start from scratch with a new illustration, which just isn't feasible here. So the other solution here is that you can go in and export this illustration as a Photoshop file. And what you do is you just go into File, you go to Export, and uh, you go in here and you can give this a name. Um, we'll just call this Compound Shapes Test and we'll uh, export that. And we can open this up into Photoshop. And as you can see here, it brought everything in. Um, it reduced the size of the canvas. Um, but all of our paths are gone. So now what we have here are just pixels here. You can see over here in the layers palette, if I go in here, you can see that this is, a, this is while it's named path, it's actually a selection of pixels. So that's, that's okay, but if we wanted this to be scalable, to be vector, then we've got a problem. So today I want to help you solve this problem. We're just going to close out of here, and we're going to go back into Illustrator here. Right now you can see I have this illustration open and to solve this problem you just have one simple solution here. You just go into your Pathfinder palette here, we'll just bring this up right here, and if you go in here and you select one of your items and then you click right here in the uh, flyout menu of the Pathfinder palette, you can see this option here that says make compound shape. So you click that and you can see over here in the layers palette where it now says compound shape instead of path. So what you need to do here is just go down here. You can, you can go into the layers palette here and just select them one by one, which is considerably easier than finding them in the illustration. And so you just go down here and click make compound path. You can just keep doing this over and over again. And you'd have to do this throughout your entire illustration. Then you know, there are other ways that you could do this that might be a little bit easier here. So you can see I've got one of these compound sh shapes here. If you go down here and you hit the Alt key and you could sort of um, duplicate that over and over again, that way you would keep the compound shape and then you could resize these later on. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I just wanted to replicate this exact illustration. We didn't want to start from scratch. So uh, what we so I've, I'm not going to make you guys watch me do this through the entire uh, through all of these with all these objects here. So I'm just going to hide that. I'm going to show another um, version that I've already gone ahead and done. I'm going to drop that drop this down. You can see everything in here is a compound shape. I'm also going to go in here and just bring in a, this background layer, which I've also converted to a compound shape, just to sort of give our illustration a little background and make sure that it doesn't crop everything down. So what we're going to do here now is go ahead and export this out as a Photoshop file again like we did earlier. So you go in here and I'm going to go find this um, document here that I've already done. Go to export, just go replace it, 
click OK, you wanted to keep it at, just keep it at the 72 DPI and the CMYK is fine. So go ahead, do that. We're going to go back into Photoshop here. We're going to open this up again. And as you can see, so we've got our background layer here as a shape layer, which means we can go in here and change the color if we wanted to. Or we could um, we can open up this um, we can open up this folder here, and as you can see, everything in here is now a shape layer. And if you wanted to change the color of an object, you can see it there changing. Um, you can also change the um, the blending um, excuse me, the blending mode here, or you could go and change the opacity if you wanted to. You can even add a layer style, whatever. Whatever you want to do here, and and that's what's so great about this technique is that it allows you to keep your illustration um, without having to convert it, uh, without having to rasterize all your layers. And that's it for today's quick tip. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, and appreciate your time.